Hey everybody, it's snowing outside and these are my new shoes. I had them about a week now. Sorry for that noise. <laughs> my dog loves chewing plastic bottles. But uh, anyway, I'm going to waterproof these. They're not waterproof. These are really nice Columbia shoes. And I'm going to try out this uh, waterproofing spray by Stratton and see how good it works. What I did was clean these off the best I could and uh, wiped it down and put it on the heat register in the house, get all the snow and all the dampness off of it. And uh, so, uh, yeah, these are Columbia shoes. These weren't waterproof, but these are nice shoes. They're a little bit pricey, but they last a few years. Uh, on cheaper shoes, the soles wear out really fast. But uh, anyway, I'm going to use this Stratton suede and new buck leather waterproofing and stain protector on them. And uh, we'll see how good it does. And also, I'm going to use them on my winter gloves, too, and see if that helps. Yeah, here's my gloves. So I'm, these are brand new, too, so I'm going to spray them down and anything will help. So my plan is to give these shoes three coats. Give it one coat, let it dry, another coat, let it dry, etc. And also give my uh, gloves two coats. And let's see how this sprays. I haven't tried it yet. It's a fine mist. Now these shoes have a breathable front here. So I'm not expecting any miracles on this. I just want to keep it as dry as possible. Uh, for the winter or in the spring when I'm walking through the grass and there's dew on the grass and you know when you walk through the grass when it's wet you'll get wetness all around and it'll go right to your socks but anyway I'm gonna start spraying this now and give it three coats and you don't want to keep it one spot you don't want to darken the leather or suede so I'll give this three coats really good, especially at where the seams are and at the toe. And what I did was loosen the shoelaces. I'm going to spray in there a bit and do the best job I can. And do the gloves next between coats of the shoes. And I'll quickly do my gloves. These are leather, but uh, anything helps. So I figured, why not? Because I have much more spray here in this can than I need for the shoes. And what I'll do is uh, a quick test after my third coat on the shoes and show you if it's waterproof or not. I let these dry for a half hour and I'm gonna put on the second coating. all around and you can do this in your, your garage or your basement there's not much odor to it so uh but i wouldn't recommend doing it inside your house <laughs> but anyway i already did my gloves and there's still a lot left here for the third coating all right i put three different coatings on this and there's still I'd say about a quarter of a can. I gave two coats to my gloves and let's test it out. I'm going to zoom in here on the toe of my shoe and dump some water on it and see how it behaves. It's pretty much beating off the screen here and completely going off the sides here. Let me try the side of the shoe. That works and very happy with that because that's all I need it to do. But uh, here's my glove. I put two coats on this because I have so much extra left out of the can. And I'm making a mess, but this is working too. And then one other thing I did was spray this with that first coat. And 
can see this is chipboard. And it's not soaking in, only on the edges. And I just made a big mess. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the review and this stuff works. So uh, that's all. Hope you enjoyed your review and take care everybody.